In this video, we're going to be taking these WWE action figures and we're going to be dressing them up in these custom WWE action figure clothes. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure closet style episode right here, man. And we got some good stuff going on. Now, we do have a new feature. Now, these clothes are not from PWR Lucha, but they are actually from my man Elite underscore Threads or Elite Threads. I'll put the handle up on the screen there so you guys can find it. And he wanted to send in his clothes to kind of get tested here on the channel here today, man. And I'm excited for it. I, I've had these for a while. I haven't had an opportunity to really make the video. You know, I went to the Royal rumble all of that different jazz but today we are back and i'm very excited to do so we have some really good stuff featured right here today and we're going to make a couple fix-ups and things it's going to be great it's going to be checking off some boxes that i've been wanting to check off on the cena collection we have two figures right here that are going to go up on the cena shelf so it's very exciting stuff we have some great stuff right here man but Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it. Let's showcase the custom figure clothing, and then we'll get into what I plan on doing with them and whatnot. So let's just go. Let's start off with the go. We might as well start off with Cena. You know, that's the main, you know, big, big part of the collection right here, man. What we're going to be doing is we do have this Word Life shirt right here, man. This is the 2003 Word Life shirt right here, which looks very, very clean. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these so far, just, you know, off the cuff without putting them on the figures. They feel really good. They're non-Velcro. Like I said, you got Word life on the front this is going to look sweet i'm going to take a former fix up john cena which is this one right here we're going to take this guy we're going to remove his jersey and we're going to be putting this on here and we're also going to be at not the chain the chain goes on a different one but we are however going to be adding the visor so we'll have the word life look here and then we'll have the shirt and then we'll also have his visor. where the hell did the visor go brad we'll have the visor right here so all of this will look together to make his 2003 sort of Word Life attire right there that he wore a few different times. And I am also, I'm using the, I believe this is the Decade of Domination Elite Cena right here. It's got pretty accurate shoes. Not the most accurate. I still just despise this damn shoe mold. But, you know, he's got the darker pants on there. He also wore this attire in black shorts, which is another thing. But I think the dark shorts also gets the job done. It's kind of a different look. It's also single joint. It doesn't bother me the most. It's just going to go up on the shelf. So a lot of Cenas on the shelf anyway are, are single jointed. They're not double jointed. But, Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, and that is going to be our first fix-up is going to be this right here. I guess I can, like, kind of line them up and put whatever the hell we're doing in front of them, and that'll kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at. So there's our first John Cena right there. Our next John Cena, I'm I'm just, oh, man, this is, this is sick as hell. We have a 2004 John Cena, and it is the camo You Can't See Me shirt right here, man. This looks very good. I think he nailed it so far right here. It looks very damn good. It feels like it's going to be good size and everything. You guys can see there in the camo pattern. I'm pretty impressed with the quality that we see so far. And I do have this fix-up Cena. Now, I did put a Deluxe Aggression head sculpt on there. And I do have some decals on the way that's going to be the word light. So, if I, I just spun these around. So, you guys can see there's the Chain Gang logos. I spun them around because that makes me cringe when it's inaccurate like that. So, I am going to, once the accurate decals come in... I will be either painting over this or I'll be acetoning the Chain Gang logos off, which will also hurt my feelings. Really, I really wish I could get somebody to 3D print me like 800 pairs of these, like in the double sweatband shape. That way I don't have to waste these Chain Gang armbands and I can just, you know, paint the, paint the 3D printed ones, slap decals on them and then slap them on there. However, you know, these are supposed to have the Word Life logo on them. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the camo shirt, Put it on here like that. We're going to throw the uh, pendant lock on there like that. And then we're also going to be putting a visor onto this Deluxe Aggression head sculpt, which looks fantastic. This is, uh, I, I really wish that Mattel would give us a John Cena head sculpt like this. It looks so damn good. Now, it is paint chipping a little bit, but the visor is going to cover it anyway. And uh, if I had 150 of this head sculpt, I'd put them on all my, you know, early years John Cena's. 2003, 4, 5. Would definitely be using this head sculpt, but probably also going to remove the bicep band so it doesn't, you know, shock underneath there. And I'm pretty sure he actually wore that over the sleeve a lot of the times for some reason. But we are going to be making that John Cena fix up. We're also going to throw on the U.S. Championship, and we're also going to be putting the Word Life Brass Nucks on there. So lots of fix ups going on right here, man. This is going to look really, really good. Really excited for this one. So we have the You Can't See Me shirt there, the pendant lock. Dude, just dressing the Cena's up, man. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's the... That's the really good stuff right there. So there is our second figure. Moving it on up, we do have a CM Punk right here. And this is a, we have this shirt right here that he sent over. It's kind of this like 2013 CM Punk shirt. 
We're going to throw this on there, and then I also have an AEW Jazzwares hoodie with the CM Punk logos on there. So I'm kind of mixing brands together, or I'm mixing, you know, some different eras, which isn't the biggest deal. I still think it'll look good. I really wish I had, a, you know, like a gray cloth hoodie on there, but it'll still, uh, it'll get the job done. We do have that CM Punk there, and we're going to fix that guy up there. And the last one that we have is a Yeet J Uso. So this is my plan. I'm going to take the Elite 90 right here, and I think this is a good base. I know he doesn't have the full chest tattoo, but we're going to head swap these. And I know the, the rat tail's red instead of blue, but we're going to head swap these. And then we're going to be putting this blue Yeet shirt onto here. And, I mean, that would be <laughs> that would be fire enough right there if it was just like that. You know, white sleeve and white shoes and everything like that. But he also threw in the joggers, the camo joggers. So we're going to put the joggers on there and the shirt and just kind of look at it and see what comes of it. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's all we got here today, man. I guess we could start off with Jey Uso, and then we'll run it back through and take a look at all the, the rest of them, like, one by one. So, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll we'll take care of the Jey Uso, then we'll go to Punk, then we'll go to Cena, then we'll go to Cena, and we'll wrap it all up there. But I guess the first order of business before we do anything is we're going to pop this off. And I, while we're doing this head swap, I do want to give a huge shout-out to Elite Threads for sending this over and, you know, wanting to just get the review in on his clothing and see what it's all about. So I do appreciate him for sending these over. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be pretty damn cool, man. So hopefully everything turns out nice here. But I, I don't like the, you know, the powdered donut beard that he's got going on here. But I still think that it's gonna look good. So there's Jey Uso. Now we're gonna put the shirt on there. I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna take the whole damn time to put this shirt on there because it's probably gonna take me a minute. But yeah, just give me a second. We'll, we'll put this damn shirt on here. All right, man. Here's Jey Uso in his stuff. He's looking pretty good. I will say, I think these. Pants are a bit baggy. I, th I think if you're going to do this style fix-up right here, I would say, like, the pants fit over it well, and I think the shirt looks really good on there with the white and sleeve and everything like that. I think the way to do this, and I probably put it on the wrong legs. I feel like a lot of people are using the Elite 106 leg mold, so it's skinnier. But I was going to say, if you if you switch the legs with some regular legs that are Jey Uso's height or whatever, it would probably look a lot better because it'd look a lot more natural. Or, again, if you did use, you know, these style legs right here, it would probably look a lot better. So mine are probably just too bulky is what it is, and that's why it looks that bulky. However, I do like the way this looks in general. I still like the attire a lot, and I love the shirt. And I think, you know, this is probably the way to go. Just putting the Yeet shirt on this right here. Like, look at that right there. That looks clean as hell. I know I just pantsed him, but... You get the point. I think I'm going to switch out the pants and do the yeet because I think I'm just going to do the yeet for now. And then we will come up with a different fix up, I think, for the camo joggers because I just think that right there, look how clean that looks now. I mean, it looks, dude, that's sick as hell. So I'm, I'm pretty damn proud of that. I think that looks excellent. So there is our Jey Uso. Next up, we're going to fix up this punk right here. We're going to slide, you know, this shirt on there and this hoodie. And I think this is actually going to look sick as hell. And yeah, that turned out pretty damn good, man. I like the shaved haired head. So that's why I went with it, because I'm pretty sure, didn't he rock this shirt when he was shaved head? I think that's pretty accurate right there. But this CM Punk, a lot of people asked me if the washing of the AEW Jazzwares hoodies actually removed that staining. And I found that it pretty much did for the most part. I don't think, like, I'm very worried about it. I haven't fully entrusted it. I've done it to a couple figures, and I don't think I've noticed any staining, but I feel like my eyes play tricks on me or something like that. I And I would say to ensure it, I would do that method that I talked about at least twice before I would fully commit to just leaving, you know, a jacket on there. This jacket, I did do the, the thing twice, and so it is, uh, hopefully it doesn't stain the figure. And also I have this shirt underneath. It's got an elbow pad and wrist tape up to here. So I don't think it's going to stain, you know, because it has a shirt underneath and all those different things. But this looks badass. I wanted to use a shaved head punk. And I think this looks pretty good. I know, I don't think he wore this attire with this exact shirt, but I still like the way it looks. It looks badass. So that works for me. I don't, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep at, uh, over at night over that right there. But now we're moving into one of my favorite figures that we're going to do here today. And it's going to be this John Cena right here. And the first method we're going to do is remove this, uh, this necklace or these dog tags. And then we are going to also, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bicep band over here. And we are going to get this thing started like the Black Eyed Peas. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And now I'm going to put the shirt on there. I'm going to put everything on there, man. It's going to look absolutely incredible. I can't wait for it. So let's just go ahead and hit it. And, dude, what a beast, man. Look at this right here. Look how damn clean that head scope looks with that visor and that shirt, man. I guess one thing I could say is I wish the sleeves were a little bit baggier or came down further, but it still looks damn good, man. I mean, you're not going to get much better than this. 
Look at, just, dude, that's clean as hell. Now, of course, it needs the Word Life logos on the armbands, and I, I gotta be real, I would probably switch out these shoes for Deluxe Aggression John Cena shoes, like the black with the white outsoles. That would help it a lot as well. And then also, I feel like the jorts, I feel like the jorts need to be a little bit darker. I think these are a tad light for this era. I don't think they quite fit this era. It's not terrible. I think it's passable. I'll probably leave it for now. But I'd probably, I'd pro I'll would i probably end up changing it or flipping it around or something like that. I just think that they could be darker. But that has nothing to do with the shirt, man. That looks damn cool, man. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the shirt on there before uh, putting the U.S. Championship on here. So let's go ahead and put this on here. Look how damn clean that is, man. You could also put the U.S. spinner on there if you wanted to, but that, <laughs> holy shish, man. This is the way Mattel figures need to come. Like, look at that. When you stack the damn accessories on there, man, I mean, that is just clean as hell. That is, I don't think we're going to be beating that here today. Now, I am going to, of course, do the word life gear over here. But I'm telling you, I don't know how you're going to beat that right here, but I'm going to go ahead and switch that one, and we'll get the hell out of here. And here is our last one, and I think this looks pretty damn good as well. I will say, I think around the biceps here, and it's kind of the same thing with this shirt here. I just think the sleeves, so the thing about John Cena, right, like it's only because of this arm mold, and that John Cena wore his shirts, like he still, to this day, man, if you look at him, he has to have on like, a triple XL. I mean, there's no damn way, man. Because his biceps are so damn big, he has to get bigger shirts. And the bigger shirts come, like, all the way down almost to his elbow. Like, they're, like, right here, man. And they're, like, loose-fitting, but they they fall all the way over his bicep. So they're not baggy because his biceps are so damn big, but they're long because he has on, like, an XL shirt and whatnot. And you guys know that typically on, on these larger shirts, they're more wider than they are longer. And so... I would just say, I guess, on these shirts here, I would say make them a little bit bigger so that the sleeves are a little longer and they're, you know, they they probably come down a little bit further and so they're not as tight on the arms. Because you can see the white threads coming through just a little bit here on the biceps, but I still think it passes and looks pretty damn good. And you have the bag graphic on there, which I think is a hella nice touch. I love that. Just, dude, all, everything about it, just fixing up these figures, man, looks so damn good. I, this right here is all the damn feels right there. I do, honestly, both of these, I don't think I'll fix this one up with the shoes. This one's going to have to have the shoes because the all black on the bottom is kind of throwing my whole vibe off. And again, the shorts aren't that accurate, but I still think they make badass fix-ups. And I want to give a huge shout-out to Elite Threads again for sitting in these shirts and, you know, making this video possible, man, I greatly appreciate it because I think these are really damn cool. And if you guys want to order from him, definitely go do so, man. But I cannot wait for more Cena fix-ups in the future, man. But a huge shout-out to Elite Threads, man. And a huge shout-out also to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel who also make these videos possible, man. Huge shout-out to those guys over there for their continued support on the channel. And a huge shout-out to Cindy Is Chloe for becoming a patron member the other day. So a huge shout out to Cindy Is Chloe for becoming a patron member. Greatly appreciate them for signing up and their patronage, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up today's video, man. Again, a huge shout out to Elite Threads. A huge shout out to the patrons, man. Love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Really appreciate these fix-ups here today. I'd like to know all your thoughts on them down below. But have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.